Hi, we've got precisely 30 seconds to make this little trailer for a new comedy called Four Weddings and a Funeral, which I was lucky enough to be in with the fabulous Andy McDowell. Hi. We've only got 30 seconds because we spent every last penny on making the film as excellent and as funny as possible. It's pretty funny, isn't it, Andy? Oh, yes. Uh, so this is the last 30 seconds of film in the camera. Uh, but anyway, I'll stop rabbiting on because I'm just some English git with stupid hair you've never seen before. And Andy is fantastic goddess and every time she opens her mouth, it's heaven. So uh, Andy will now tell you everything you need to know about Four Weddings and a Funeral. A very funny film, I hope. But don't take my word for it. Andy. Well, it's like this. Hi, my name's Andy McDowell, and I just finished making this really great film in England called Four Weddings and a Funeral. And my co-star is this really lovely guy. He's real handsome, real <laughs> talented, and now he's my really good friend. And he's called... Uh, um, Hugh. Hugh. <laughs> That's it, Hugh. Yeah. Um, Grant? Grant, yes, yeah. Hugh Grant. Yeah. And I'm a really big fan of his. I've seen all of his films. Things like... Um, uh, Morris. There are the well, things, things like Four Weddings and a Funeral. <laughs> He's in it, and it's really funny, and it's about four weddings and a funeral. Anything you want to say, Harry? Hugh. Hugh. Yeah. God. Sorry, honey. I love this guy. <laughs> so anything you want to say? Well, yes, I have. Do go see it. It's about two people who uh, love each other so much that they uh, actually remember each other's names. Um, it's very moving. Thanks. Okay. I'm sorry. God, you know, I'm just terrible with names. I, I had the same problem with Bert Murray. Bill Murray. Yes. Yeah, yeah and um, George. That's George Defadieu? Yeah, that's, that's right. the guy. Yeah. yeah. No, no problem. I'm so sorry. Fine. Well, these are from the archive, um, two trailers that were never, ever used. Um, and it's fantastic to see them again because I think they're quite amusing, but also they're very um, uh, a clear uh, picture of the way in which a Andy and Hugh related to each other um, in terms of box office you know, and star, star um, uh, power that... At that time, Hugh was really unknown, and certainly to an American audience, and mostly to a, to a European. Andy was quite well known. I mean, she whether you would say she was an A-list star or not, she was the star of the film. Um, and so Richard wrote these trailers, um, one which uh, was Hugh's and one which was Andy's, um, in which uh, both of them um, he was the non-entity and she and she was the star. Um, I mean, I, I'm very, because I know that they were done on the hoof, and uh, I think they're really rather well done. Hughes in particular, I think Andy's not quite as um, as uh, particular, you know, placed, but that's less her style than it is his. But actually, very amusing, and um, it makes me like Andy for being so game um, in 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 doing them, um, where she comes off as the um, the one that's that keeps on getting things wrong and saying the wrong thing and. Um, and being the butt of the jokes, and um, uh, they're—I don't know why we didn't use them. They seem to be uh, perfectly, uh, perfectly adequate uh, as as trailers. <laughs>